What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Overhit video here on Fort Misery Gaming and today guys I'm going to talk briefly about um, basically how you guys should reroll at what stages you should reroll um, and how long it'll take you to get currency things like that and how long you want to push farming your account until you want to do a lot of summons to see if you want to keep it. So how the game works is when you beat 1-4 you're going to get prompt to go to your gotcha section. Um, which will take you probably about 10 minutes. Like, it's very, very short to get your first initial multi-summon. Um, you're going to start the game with Cicero. Um, and what was the other... Sorry, I'm just going to bring her up real fast. Uh, why won't it... Oh, I actually... Okay, there we go. Um, so you're going to start the game with Cicero, and you're going to start the game with uh, this unit here. Uh, Victoria. You will also start with Ash, which is a free SSR you get, who's actually very, very good. He's a very, very versatile unit across the board. And you're also going to start with kind of the flagship character, Sophia, which is going to be your healer. So you're going to start with all those heroes first. Um, then you're going to be able to do a what's called a launch celebration gotcha. Now, now you guys see here, it shows Jasper, Ray's, Blossom, Lake, Laika, and Tez. So if you guys, but if you guys look now, it shows they're actually not able to be pulled in this banner. So that means only the first pull, you're guaranteed to get one of them. So as you guys see, there's summon R SSR heroes just one time. One of the following five SSR heroes is guaranteed to appear. It is going to cost you 300 stones, which you get uh, just by playing the game normally um, through that. So basically, you want to just kind of hold on to, uh, and then after that. Then you make the decision once you get through 310, um, this will be available, which is going to be which we're, we're going to do today on in video, which is going to be your selective summons, which you basically uh, are going to get a SSR hero every pull, um, and then you'll get a random amount of SRs and rares as well. I believe you can only pull one SSR, though. I don't think you can get multiples in your select summons. So today we're going to be going for uh, Tez. Since we did not get Angelo um, or any other hero that I was really uh, looking for. Um, but these are the lists of SSR, all the SSRs basically that you can pull right now in Premium Gotcha. So you guys see there it's seven and what is there? One, one two, three, three rows. So there's a list that looks like about 25, 24 SSR heroes. I would think totally in the game outside of free to play. Like Sophia's not in here. She's only available for... Uh, for free to play um, so you would have to actually just get her through playing the game um, so my opinion I think you should reroll for Tez because he uh, sorry she is gonna be insanely good for your raid content your single target content so all your boss content she's gonna be very very good she's still decent in campaign but obviously units that are kind of like more like cleave units um, they have an AoE attack, like Ash has an AoE attack and then also uh, Angelo is insanely good for um, for, he's basically good in everything but raid. He's good for all the campaign stuff, all the different uh, like side quest stories that we're going to get, like the one we have right now for Colette. And then also he's uh, really, really good for PvP. So the fact that um, Tez, though, is good for PvP and bosses means that if you pull a unit, that if you, since you start with a unit like Ash and you do get free dupes of Ash throughout the game, it just may take you longer if you don't pull actual copies because you can pull him, I believe... In the selects, can't you? Maybe you can't. You actually can't pull him in select summons. Okay. So I think you can only pull him in premium gotcha then? I want to say he was in premium gotcha. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so he's only in premium gotcha. So you can't get him in the select summons. So anyway, the options are you can either keep rerolling for someone like Tez if you want to start with that, or um, or Leica is another good option because you do get a free copy of Rin in the game eventually. And those pair very well with their link skills. So you can do that. Or you could go all the way through 310, do your select summons. And if you still don't get something you really want in your select summons combined with your premium, then you could technically restart. And how you restart is you just go to here in settings. And then you're going to go to your info. And then you're just going to click delete account. And once you delete the account, then you're going to start over from scratch. So... That's how you can kind of do that, um, but honestly, I wouldn't. Um, I honestly would just 
probably go for Tez. I mean, you could then farm up a lot, like farm up maybe to 310 and do some pulls on your uh, gems. I think if you farm up through 310, maybe to 410, between the login rewards that we got and everything else, you probably are going to be able to do three to four multis. So if you don't get any like dupes of a lot of SRs you want or any a new SSR that you really want, then maybe you should reroll. I myself didn't. I got two SSRs in my regular gem summons, but I didn't get ones I wanted. But I did get a lot of dupes of Cicero, and I got two proxies, and both of those are very very good four star SR heroes. And the thing is about this game is similar to Epic 7. There are a lot of four-star heroes throughout PvP and PvE that are going to be very, very useful for you. That you don't have to have a full team of SSRs all the time. And keep in mind that the SRs are much easier to uh, limit break in this game is a common term. Basically, by feeding dupes in, you need five dupes total. And then you can basically max out a unit um, and then have their full potential with all their built like kind of like all their abilities kind of unlocked Which will get higher ability stats and all that stuff. That's going to be very very crucial for um, Beating content in the game. So with that being said, let's hop into our summons But that's my opinion of what you guys should do when it's time to reroll Those are the phases you guys can go through to determine whether or not you want to reroll at that certain time Like I said, you can go through 1-4 or you can go all the way through 310 and at that point you can decide whether or not you want to reroll So as of right now Unless someone tells me otherwise, like, I really shouldn't keep this account, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep. So, we're going to go ahead and draw. And our goal here is to get, like, three SRs with a Tez. Um, so, this is only one. So, I hope Tez is not in this pull. So, we're going to go ahead and skip. And we got Blossom. So, we're definitely going to redraw here. So, we will definitely redraw from this one. And I'd rather see SRs I don't want. Then uh, to see Tez. All right, so another one, just one SR. So let's see what we get this time. <laughs> Rez, we definitely are keeping you because we already pulled you, and I don't, I don't want. If I want a dupe, I want my dupe of Tez. So definitely, we're gonna draw again there as well. Only the one SR, SSR. Dang, it's like these rates. Oh, and there's an Angelo too. Oh man, but we're not gonna take it. Yeah, if we would have pulled a, um, we could have went with Angelo, um, if we would have pulled an Angelo from our regular summons, but we didn't pull one out of the two SSRs we pulled. All right, still only one SR, man, I'm not having, I was getting fire SRs luck on the gems, uh, gen guy, okay, we're gonna keep going, um, but we did not pull, we're not, we're pulling only one minimum, we haven't even had one pull yet with, uh, two SRs. That's crazy. I want to look at the rates. All right, there's two SRs. So let's see what we get. We got Nickeroid. I heard he, I heard she's pretty good, or it, whatever it's called. <laughs> A Gomski. All right, so two um, machine-type guys. And then Shomai. I want to say Shomai was good. She's definitely like waifu status, for sure, for you guys out there. Uh, let me check the tier list real fast. All right, no, she's not very good. Never mind. All right, and they say her animation's insanely long, so for farming, she'd be probably a real... Uh, but we can watch her summoning animation, I guess. Because they're making us. Ugh, that 3D on her looks terrible, though. Wow, not a fan, personally. Not a fan. All right, again, just the one SSR. Not looking good. Yager Sale, I'm pretty sure, is good, though. Yeah, Yager Sale's a good in campaign. Um... Good in campaign, and it looks like good in PvP. Not good in raid. Long S2 animation again, though. So, all right. So, we are approaching 40 in. All right, we have one SR. Ophelia. That is a good unit, too. But once again, we are going purely for dupes. And at this rate, um, of how we're not getting Tez, we may just have to take the first Tez we get. <laughs> Even if it doesn't have an SR, which is really unfortunate, because we're just not getting good luck. All right, Helena. Dang, man. This is not looking good. All right, what is the... I want to see what the SR pull rate is. There's no way it is the same pull rate. Oh, it doesn't give you the rates, does it? It doesn't tell you the rates. Dang, that sucks. You don't even know. Well, it's definitely not 25% or whatever it was. Wow. 
Wait, did I? Okay. Whew. All right. I was going to get freaked out if they made me take that poll. All right, there's two. Two has been the most I've seen so far. So if this is a Tez, we may keep this. Nope, it's Emoden. All right, never mind. Never mind. Dang it, man. And I guess when we skip, we don't even see the SRs. Unless they are... Uh, oh, there was a Cicero in there, too. Man, if that was a Tez, that'd be an auto-keep. <sighs> that would have set me up so well. So well. All right, another Genkai. Dang, man. Tez is not wanting to, uh... I got him on my second reroll, but... Or her on my second reroll, rather. Uh, but I'm not able... Alright, there's two again. Come on. Rena. Alright, because that's a new hero. And Jack. Alright, no. We don't want that either. <sighs> we better not go 50 pulls and don't get a single Tez. And at this point... And I don't want to see a Tez with one. Alright. We pulled uh, multiples of every hero, like or like a lot of them. I, not everyone, but we pulled a lot of dupes of multiple heroes, um, and we haven't pulled a single Tez yet. All right, there's another two SR pull. All right, another one of the cats. And Elizabeth, a new hero. And Damien, all right. You would have been an option if uh, I would have pulled a regular copy of you and my gems, but I didn't, unfortunately. All right, another two. All right, we're getting at least two SRs, it's looking like. That's better. Beatrice. Okay. Nope. Don't want you either, girl. Don't want you either. All right, there wasn't a Cicero, so I'm not as salty. All right, just an SSR here. It's another Helena. I think that's the third Helena we pulled. It's like something crazy like that. Literally. <laughs> All right, one SR, and we got Blossom again. All right, that's the second copy of Blossom. Crazy, crazy, I guess, but when there's 25 of them, it is harder to pull them all, right? Eleanor, okay, draw again. Only one SSR. How many do we have, man? I don't want to take that, though, because there's no SRs. Of course, the first Tez pool I got had no SRs. If we're not under 35, we're at 33. All right, that's not halfway. So I think, but the second, the next one we get, we have to keep, regardless if there's no SRs or not. All right, three, two SRs. And raise, unfortunately. Yeah, damn it. One SR. Blossom with one SR again. She's getting that one SR luck. Blossom and that one SR luck. All right. And a Casca. I would take Casca. She actually doesn't have a, uh, a whatchamacallit. Oh, Angelo, man. With two SRs. Damn it. My gems, man. Would have been a keeper for sure. Two Alcons. All right. We're down to under 30. Two SRs, though. Mina and Elfie. I have an Elfie, but she's not the unit I want to focus on. So we're going to throw it back still. All right. We're, we're close to the halfway point. We're at 28 of 30. Rina and Beatrice. Okay. Two SRs, Giga Machina, and Damien. All right. Second copy of Damien. Well, it's a good luck that I'm, I think a good majority of these we've seen two copies of, like close to. So we're not halfway yet. Three SRs. All right, come on. Please, Tez, show up. Please show up, man. <sighs> Unknown. Dang. Oh, and it was a dark hero, too. I would have taken that. Even though I, I don't think we got a, uh, a Cicero, we didn't. But I still would have taken that. 
Ugh, another one. Another Angelo. That's the, we like the fourth Angelo we pulled. Three or four Angelos at this point. All right, we're running out of time. Tez, you need to show up now. Gluck. Nope. I'm going to be really mad if we don't get a second Tez in these selective summons. I may actually have to reroll the whole account at that point and waste like all these hours of farming. Uh, Helena, another one. Jesus, man. That's like five or six Helenas I pulled. Two. All right, two SRs. Come on. Another Angelo. Dude, that's like five Angelos. What the actual hell is going on right now? I can't see another Tez. I'm getting really nervous. We're at 21. One SR. Show my again. All right. It's not good. Not good. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting really nervous. 20 pulls left. One SR and uh, another dark one that is a Tez. <laughs> that is a Tez. Come on, man. Come on. 19 pulls. Watch, that's going to be Tez. All right, Beatrice, sure. Oh, guys. What have I done to myself? What have I actually done to myself? Another no SR pull. Like our seventh Helena, of course. Man, I'm going to have to re-roll, aren't I? I'm going to have to re-roll the whole freaking account now. <sighs> yeah, I so. I should have just kept it. I shouldn't have risked it. I knew, I knew I shouldn't have risked it. Knowing my luck and gotcha, I should not have risked running into another one in 33 summons, 33 multis. <sighs> Gleck. Yeah. What are we down, like 15 now? Yeah, 15 tries. Wow, this is so not good. And these are all one. Wow. Wow, that's the first S that we've seen. Okay. I, that's the first non-duplicate uh, non I've seen probably in like 15 pulls. Jeez, there are no SRs being pulled. All right, we have to keep that. It sucks, but we have to just keep that. Because there's no way I want to risk uh, only 12 multis. 13 multis? Yeah, we... That sucks, man. Not a single SR. Not a single SR. That really blows. That really, really blows. But that is going to be my kind of reroll guide, uh, simplistic guide for you guys, plus, you know, our selective summons of what we rolled for. Obviously, we had to reroll for our girl Tez, but, you know, probably a lot of you guys will have a lot better luck. Either you got more lucky on your launch summons or you guys were able to get more lucky on your... Um, or your selective summons. Unfortunately, I walked away with no additional SRs. If I would have gotten one more copy of Cicero, he would have been super close to being maxed out. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the video today from your boy for Misery Gaming. If you guys did enjoy today's overhit content, feel free to drop a like down below. Comment down below what you guys think of the game. Let me know if you guys like this game a lot and if you want me to bring this to the channel on a regular basis, maybe at least like three videos a week on this game combined with Epic 7. Just let me know, guys. And if you guys are... Uh, looking forward to more content. Make sure you guys always hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, we will see you guys in the next overhead video. Peace.